Well, Amy and Brandon, we had a little commotion here since the last time we talked to you just a few minutes ago. Right there, uh, Shannon Powell, the head of the second line, he's a drummer from New Orleans. He came through and then he took the stage and he collapsed. But it looks like EMS is here and they're addressing the situation. We have seen him sitting up, so it appears that he is okay right now. But it was a scary moment because well, it's like sure. a family for everybody who's grown up watching uh, these artists. And of course, Shannon Powell is how well known he is. And then. Yeah. And then this. Yeah. You yeah. know, Shannon Powell, if, and having lived in New Orleans for seven years, he's known as the drummer of Treme. Uh, Treme is a huge place in New Orleans, as you know. He's part of the fabric in New Orleans and the world when it comes to jazz. They were leading the second line up this way, right. coming all the way to the stage when suddenly he collapsed uh, a couple times. They're working on him. He looks like he's awake and he's, he's uh, eyes are open. Musicians are obviously uh, kind of stuck in a state of shock for a moment as we wait. Um, and yeah, Trudino Lowe low. is one of those. He is here uh, performing at Jazz Fest, but but Shannon Powell is someone who you look up to um, in a big hey, way. Shannon was one of my so is one. I yeah. was one of the students through the Wayne State uh, Jazz Week and Wayne program that the Jazz Festival puts on every year. So growing up, like I met Shannon when I was like 15, and he was just like one of the cats that like yeah really looked out for me a lot. And he kept he, it honest with me. And a lot of people wasn't being honest. It's scary to see something like this happen with someone yeah, who you I'm care about. He's okay. Yeah. He cool. He moving, so we good. <laughs> yeah. I don't though. Yeah. You know, and that's the thing. We were talking about the family, the brotherhood of everybody really coming together here. You, you're from the east side of Detroit, De product of Detroit public schools. Here you are. He recently moved to New York. But you're going to be performing here, a place that you came to watch when you were younger, all the musicians. So what does that feel like to be able to take the stage again and knowing that you were once sitting in the crowd. Mm. Feels like I'm home. Feels like I'm home. Yeah. You know, like no matter like, cause I played the festival before in other configurations, but this year is special because like my group's playing this year as my debut as a band leader. Oh, that's so it's gonna be like a beautiful time. Like, yeah, I just feel like I'm home and I'm just excited. Well, we're excited that you're here, Trunino Low. Good to see you. Good luck this year at Jazz Fest. It is always a celebration of jazz, and as Taryn uh, astutely pointed out, when you have a celebration of something that so many people have in common in this place, as soon as that happened with Mr. Powell on stage, the entire place stood still as everybody applauded when he was able to get up for a quick second there. So we yes. continue to put out our thoughts for Shannon Powell and hope that he makes a full recovery, whatever it was that happened here on stage. Absolutely, yes. And we are a lot of people looking forward to a weekend that is going to be very Detroit focused with oh, the yeah. musicians and um, and just really, it feels more normal compared to years past after the pandemic. I mean, yesterday was kind of, last year was a building phase and yeah. now it seems like so many people are going to be here to really celebrate what Detroit is all about. So we are going to be taking the stage ourselves in a little while. And, yeah, that's uh, exciting. We, uh... So we were excited to do that and then kick off all the festivities. We're just so proud at Fox 2 to be partnering up with the Detroit Jazz Festival and the foundation, the great work they do. So we'll be on stage introducing musicians and the mayor and whatnot in just a few moments here. But uh, hey, stay tuned to Fox 2 all weekend long for highlights from this musical moment in the Motor City. Back okay, over to back you. To you.